Libra March 2017 and this is your special Libra on Venus going retrograde and for Libras together with Aries this is probably can be a life-changing period because uh, first of all Venus rules you guys you as Libras whether it's your ascendant sun or moon uh, Venus is your goddess, Venus is your lord, Venus represents you. So when Venus starts moving retrograde, your life can turn 180 degrees. Starting from the beginning of March and maybe continuing till the middle of April. Like things can really turn, and not necessarily in a negative way because people get so freaked out. Oh, planet is retrograde, it's all bad. But actually ancient astrologers said that a planet retrograde is stronger because it's much closer to earth so the themes that it rules become way more per, um, inescapable we cannot escape them it's like the gravity of Venus becomes much much more powerful pull on us so it's like it comes like three times closer to us than at the other times so it's almost like the goddess that rules you Venus the planet that you resonate most with the planet that represents you your higher guiding power comes much closer to you. So actually for many Libras, this can be, you know, a, uh, I would say, empowering moment. And actually this is when Venus starts a new cycle in its, um, in its um, uh, life. And it, end, it continues for about 19 months. So there will be like a death and rebirth for many Libras that is happening in a metaphorical way, obviously. But Venus rules you, and not only that, but Venus is going retrograde in your seventh house, exactly opposite your sign. And this, uh, when Venus goes retrograde exactly opposite your sign, it has a 100% influence on you because you're exactly opposite. So that's directly impacting you and directly impacting your relationships. And as we know, Libra is all about relating with others on personal, business level, on any kind of uh, different psychological, spiritual levels. So th this is going to be such a Libra time for <laughs> such a important time for many Libras, especially your ascendant if it's there, the, also the sun or the moon. And Venus goes retrograde every two years approximately, a year and a half. Last time it was retrograde was in August 2015. So give it the summer of 2015. Did something important happen the summer of 2015? Uh, something um, maybe, uh, you know, you can go back there to re-examine. But Venus was retrograde in your seventh house for the last time in 2009, guys. So maybe something that started in 2009, when Venus was retrograde exactly at the same place, is coming to a conclusion now, around March and April. It's coming to its final, you know, performance and you're seeing it as something that has to leave your life and you're releasing it. And it's going to be especially connected to your relationships. It's going to be especially connected to contracts, to agreements, to some kind of promises made, which is all the seventh house, to some kind of deals or agreements or personal or business relationships. Uh, or maybe something that started around 2009 can give its results, you know, now at the final closing uh, Venus retrograde period in March. So the results of something started from the period of 2009 till the period now 2017 can, within that basically time frame, maybe more specifically 2009, but after 2009 onwards, you know, including 2009, something that started in your life um, and something that was also connected to other people very lightly in some way because Venus was retrograde in your seventh house and to your public publicity, to your social status or relationships overall. Uh, but because Venus rules you, so it represents all your life, all your overall direction in life. So something important that started comes to a close, comes to a conclusion. Uh, so a new phase. After the 25th of March, why the 25th of March? Because this is when Venus' new cycle starts, when Venus joins the Sun in a conjunction in the sky as we know it. So it starts moving backwards from the start of March and in around 25th of March it joins the Sun and it starts a new 19-month 19 19 cycle. 
And the, the next time it will be again in Aries will be again eight years from now. So we can even say it starts a new eight year cycle for you, which means like it's a death and rebirth for uh, Libra people. It's a new beginning for them from March, from April onwards. But the last period, but March, the last closing phase of this Venus uh, retrograde, the first phase of the Venus retrograde and the last closing month basically of the of the Venus eight year cycle can feel like something is dying, something is going away. An old lifestyle, an old way of relationships, an old way of, 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 of relating to others, an old way of doing things. So even if you're losing something and you're starting, you go into an introverted reevaluating mode from the beginning of March, you might start feeling like action is stopping, things are slowing down around you so you have time to go introspective to introvert to look within to analyze uh, the the inevitable change and rebirth of venus your inner goddess you even if you're a man doesn't matter and uh, it's going to be intrinsically taking you to a new level once it starts getting rebirth reborn from april onwards maybe from the middle of april when venus starts moving direct you'd see that your life takes a brand new direction and it's uh, for example how can this play out and it might be very much connected to your relationships you might it might be the reevaluation of relationship and if there is no compromise and ability to work and have a heart to heart and and rebalance the relationship it can end that's the most neg that's the most difficult but it's not necessarily negative some relationships have outdated their life and it's time for them to move on or even if it's a, a relationship that has ended already uh, but you haven't put your peace with it you haven't buried the hatchet or you haven't had uh, uh, you know a closure in your mind you can receive this closure during the Venus retrograde some business or personal relationship or friendship from the past or agreement or contract but if a relationship is valid and is good in your life Venus retrograde will show what the problems in that relationship is it will bring them to the surface but you might just see it from a very different perspective that relationship and you might see the the relationships as if you're ready and you might realize oh my god this is really i think i'm in love with this person or i this is a great business partnership we have to change the clauses of it and you, you because you change your attitude towards those agreements or promises or relationships with others it will, when Venus starts moving direct, shift the relationship to a new le level of deeper commitment, of deeper, uh, of, of basically renewing of these relationships. So if you're already in a good relationships and you haven't even appreciated well enough, this is what Venus retrograde can do. If you're in a bad relationship that's not fair on you and that there is no desire for compromise on either side or on one side or the other, then Venus retrograde will remove it but again it's starting a new phase so even if it removes some relationship from your life the moment Venus starts moving direct you'd come into a totally new type of uh, relationships basically into a totally new expression of love and relating business or personal relationships that's higher that's more evolved than the previous phase so attracting newer people different that's not in March in April you'll see that more but March can feel a little bit more like Things are stopping. Things are like starting to, you know, to to spin your wheel at one place. Like, like you might feel more withdrawn. You might feel more like the desire to 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 retreat a little bit, to take it easy, to analyze. You might feel a bit more exhausted somehow, uh, or you might feel a little bit more because Venus, your planet, is moving retrograde, or like you are reevaluating your whole life, especially your relationships, and again. Venus retrogrades is not necessarily bringing break in a relationship. If anything, many people see their relationship from a different point of view and decide, okay, I'm ready to to get engaged. You know, I'm ready to take these relationships to a new level because there starts a new cycle of Venus, a new level of love, a new level of commitment. But first, you might have to have some a one heart to heart with your business partner or with your marriage partner with your relationship partner because something needs to be rebalanced because the ultimate goal of Venus uh, when it goes retrograde and generally of Venus is to rebalance something to make it fairer to make it nicer for both sides 
and for you it this affects relationships directly so guys you see how so important it is life transforming this period can be for your Libras taking you to a new beginning from April onwards and the closing chapter might feel a little bit like taking your last dying breath uh, but at the same time it's it's very important time that you give yourself some space that you give yourself some time to reevaluate to think don't force decisions on yourself till the end of March till the middle of April I would say as well because after that with the rebirth of Venus again from the middle of April becoming visible again starting its new cycle you you also be reborn not only in your relationships to a new level to a higher commitment but overall in your life and in your goals so that's a big year for you guys a big big period so thank you so much Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook for more updates. Bye.